Tonight, I'm on the Red Square in Moscow. The temperature is very low, but fortunately, the temperature in the relationship between NATO and Russia is much better. Far too many people continue to look at the NATO-Russia relationship through the prism of the Cold War. I think what people have failed to realize is just how much NATO and Russia share in the way of security concerns. Today, we can see that NATO and Russia are facing the same challenges, are facing the same risks, are facing the same security-related problems. One of these common threats is terrorism. Russia herself has suffered from uh, terrorism. So we should strengthen our fight in cooperation against terrorism. On the one hand, we have uh, a number of areas, for instance, in Afghanistan or in the area of counterterrorism, where we have a lot of overlapping interests and a number of areas of common challenge uh, that we want to work with Russia. But at the same time, we have a number of areas where we fundamentally disagree. Uh, areas, for instance, like the Conventional Forces of Europe Treaty uh, or in Georgia, where NATO allies ha disagree quite strongly with the actions that Russia has taken in Georgia. It is complex uh, because uh, we are uh, viewing things from different angles and different cultural and uh, I would say even philosophical points of view. Uh, the uh, uh, Russians do understand uh, the word security as a total absence of any possible attack. We understand security as something which uh, basically means to take care about oneself, to take care about our societies. The NATO-Russia Founding Act we have just signed joins a great nation and history's most successful alliance and common cause. When we signed uh, the first uh, funding act with the Russian Federation in 1997, uh, uh, we had only 16 allies around the table, plus Russia. Uh, today, uh, when we are talking in the framework of the NATO-Russia Council, we are 29, which demonstrates that we have evolved. We can say that uh, uh, Russian uh, military ships have uh, been deployed together with NATO ships in the Mediterranean Sea to fight terrorism. Uh, also, we can say that the Russian Federation and NATO are training uh, uh, experts to fight uh, 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 narcotic traffic uh, in Central Asia and Afghanistan. Furthermore, uh, uh, we are working quite intensively uh, in the science field with the Russian Federation. We should join efforts in the fight uh, against these uh, threats and therefore, we should develop a true strategic partnership. As we are talking, uh, uh, Madeleine Albright and a group of experts are discussing in Moscow the uh, strategic concept of NATO with the uh, Russian Federation leadership, which demonstrates that the relationship has not only evolved, but grown as well. Russians should and can apply to NATO, but of course it will not be called North Atlantic Treaty Organization, but Atlantic Pacific Security Organization, or whatever.